there are basically three domains that we can look at in a clinical exam. And I think number one is often overlooked. It's something that we all do, but we don't necessarily consider it part of the clinical exam. And yet I think it's an important element. And that is taking the patient's subjective description of the problem, then interviewing the patient to get more deeply into the nature of the problem, and finally, to look at the patient's medical record and to abstract from that the relevant medical history. The second domain in a clinical exam is your clinical observations and general physical findings. We all make clinical observations. We make those clinical observations in the sense that a patient impresses us in a certain way when we first encounter them. And we all make general physical examination findings, but sometimes we will ignore those because they don't have any significance at the moment. Sometimes those general physical findings do have relevance and we do need to attend to them. And number three is your focused physical examination, structural functional examination, or however you wish to describe it and define it. Parts of an examination can be graded and consistently administered and be systematic in their delivery. But the quality of an examination is a function of the knowledge and the skill of the clinician performing the exam. If there's no knowledge of a sign or a symptom, data will neither be elicited from the patient nor recorded. If a skill is lacking for eliciting a particular behavior or response, the data will not be perceived. When we analyze the data, our conclusions are not based on a sum total of scores. Now, there are tools out there that can provide guidance from a defined set of findings. The one that is fairly popular now is the MAN assessment of swallowing ability, or the MASA. The MASA can be administered at bedside and provides the clinician with observations in a defined set. That's not what I'm talking about today. While I think the MASA is a wonderful tool to be used to assess patients, particularly at bedside, what I'm talking about today is a broader perspective, bringing to bear tools that may not have been used by you, the clinician, recently, or maybe even tools that you have never realized could have application to the patient with swallowing disorders. The product of this clinical exam that I'm talking about today comes from an analysis of all of your findings.